All right, guys, welcome to Destination Jamaica. We're going to do something a little bit different to be. Um, hopefully something that will help Jamaicans. Because especially being a young Jamaican, you have to navigate a lot on your own if you don't have, you know, parents guiding you or someone who's been there guiding you. And even in the age of internet and in YouTubers and so forth, it still can be a challenge finding the best practices and the best ways of doing things without going through some of the issues many of us went through without being scam or without being going down a route that you didn't need to go to um, in the first place. So hopefully this is helpful to someone. Bear with us as we post some of these contents on the Destination Jamaica for now. We're going to have another channel eventually. Uh, but since we have limited resources and it's me mainly doing the videos, then I have to use what I have currently. You know. So let's go. What we're going to look into is places to rent and Kingston, which is, you know, Kingston Town, big area, Jamaica, where the entertainment and the restaurants the fun it's the corporate area a lot of people go there more than half of jamaica is said to live in kingston it is a bit congested um but if you want the best jobs that's where you normally go to get the best paying jobs depending on what you're doing if you're someone who's looking to be employed in kingston you're gonna need a place to stay in kingston um, and so we're going to start with that. We're hoping to share some life skills and we will share the general videos. So don't worry if you're a subscriber who's just here for general Jamaican videos. Now let's start with the search. You can use the internet for everything. So cheap places for rent in Kingston. And let me tell you, first and foremost, rent in a Kingston, not cheap. I mean, back in the day, it was more manageable. Now, if I really want a good place to stay, a one-bedroom I'm seeing costing you anywhere between a decent 60 grand to up to over 100 and something thousand, depending. Um, I mean, you can still find some places that are in midtown or, you know, in a city that are within someone's budget are a bit more reasonable, but not, not everybody wants to live there. But let's do the show search and see what's happening. Let's look at some of these houses. Now, some of the places um page I like is like the classic field, Jamaica. Found a few places on there. And look at these rent prices. They're having houses for 160, but that's a three-bedroom house and two-bedroom house. Now, if you're someone who don't have the money, but you know someone who's looking for um some place to rent. You could possibly come by and guys, sometimes we have to do them stuff there. We we'll probably want to live on our own and want private yard and all of them things there. But for survival purposes, it doesn't have to be forever. It's just a temporary solution. You might have to live with a family member or with a college um friend or something of the sort to make it work. Just be respectful to each other and get out of the struggle. So and, you know, we can do it together. No, let's look at this three. Well, that's a bit hectic, but let's look at the cheapest one. This is what I don't like is that they don't show the photos. So I don't know what it looks like. And when you're somebody who have limited amount of money, even if you're somebody who have a good paying job, you don't have money for waste like that. You need to be able to see what your options are in this day and age so that you can ascertain what it is. From looking on the pictures online, you don't waste the time and your fear to go someplace where you know say you're not gonna like it in the first place. But this is one thing. Let's click on it. Um, boarding for male tertiary students only, it seems, and it's a bedroom share, and it's twenty four thousand. Okay, and there's nothing else. But here are some similar items, a one bedroom furnish, a one bedroom for 30. So let's look at the one bedroom 
unfurnished and then go back and look at the one bedroom. So this is our um one bedroom for thirty thousand dollars. It was just posted well less than twenty four hours ago. You can see the pictures to see what they look like. I mean, it's something that you can actually, I guess you can talk to the landlord to see if they can do some painting and, you know, just make it a, li a little bit more nicer. But people say it's a place to live in. But I don't know, these areas, I don't like how they look. But we have to do what we have to do. We can talk to the landlord and have it fixed up before we move in. But $30,000, sometimes that's the best I'm seeing. Um, and it's in Papin, and those things can get really expensive. I mean, people getting paid 60,000, 80,000, 30,000 for rent plus light bill will be like depending on how much light you're using, but between five to about I hear people saying their light bill going up to 15,000. Then you have water, you have internet bills, so you have to consider all those different bills plus your food bill, right. So I suggest that you look realistically at how much you're bringing in and have a budget. So that's the first thing. You're not going to go into this, um, you know, blind. You're going to be smart. Now, let's look at something else. We're not going to look at the one with, with no pictures because we can't tell anything from that. But let's look at the furnished one to see what that looks like. I thought I just saw it. All right, furnish one bedroom. Let's look at that. So the furnish one bedroom is in Garden Town, and that's Kingston St. Andrew, and it was posted less than 12 hours ago. Ah, doesn't look bad. I mean, the pictures could be better, but based on what we're seeing here, it's it doesn't look that bad. Personally, I love windows. I love natural light and air. So I like any place I'm going to live to have windows and air uh, and natural light. This looks a bit uh, like there's a window there where the curtains are. It's decent. The bathrooms. Regular size bathroom these days. That's how they're making the bathrooms. And it is a one bedroom furnished and you share the kitchen. I uh, personally don't like to see the toilets, but you know, you need to see those stuff to ascertain how it looks. So let us know, would you rent this a one bedroom furnished? You get the bed, you have the kitchen stuff. And it's for 45000 You don't have to worry about furniture. But if you're someone who have your furniture already, then more than likely this might not work for you. All right, so let's look at something else. One bedroom, one bath, living room for $85,000. And there's one for 55000 but there's no picture, so we can't really judge that one. Let's look at this. Look at this, 800 US West Village, two bedroom, one bath. And that's what's happening with Jamaica with the homestays and Airbnb. You have prices being quoted in US. Sometimes I think we really need to take a serious look at the housing market and how we're benefiting um locals. But that's for another conversation. All right, so okay, they have more pictures here. So let's look at what it looks like. It was posted less than 24 hours ago. It might be available. It's in my line. And you can let us know what you think of the communities. Everything grill up. Look at the kitchen. Uh, these are the size rooms where we're seeing a lot of. Everything is being built in apartment style. So them spacious rooms there were enough people used to, you might not see that here. This one living space. 
for you to go to work, come home, relax at night, then go to work the next day. I will say if you're a Jamaican, especially a young Jamaican, look into getting your NHP benefits, your home or land loan, so you don't have to go through this process forever. But if you're someone who don't want to do any of that, then that's totally fine. It all depends on you and your preferences, your goals. Looks like it's been, you know, in construction there. Probably they might build up some stuff where it's newly built. All right, so there's one thing I know they're probably trying to rent out the place, but I would suggest I see um listings making this issue in this day and age. They're having this posting of photos that are not the best quality photos and having something like work being done in the picture. We don't need to see that. We need to see the space for what it is. But yeah, let us know what you think about that. Let's look at one more. We're having one bedroom furnished, one bedroom. Three bedroom for rent in St. James, Manchester. Oh, look at this three bedroom, lower flat of two. But that's in the country. So, of course, that would be negotiable. And the price is not bad. So if you realize that the differences between town and country is that in the country areas, you can still find um, decent houses for um, that price. Now let's look through some of the ones in Kingston. Since we're, oh, let's go back. All right. Look at this room, sir, and furnished thirty thousand dollars. That's in Papine. Let's look at the pictures. It's a bit dark, so you can get a sense of what the place is like. This one is blurry. So these are the pictures that I don't really like. We don't have a lot of money. We don't have a lot of resources. So we need to be able to see the things on um, the listing. Nobody got time to waste money and time to go all of these places just to have a real feel of how they look. But it's not a surprise that this would be what the space would be like for that price. It's livable. All right, we're going to look at one more. Let's look at this. Um, Oh, I think we looked at that one already. Let's look at something on the higher end, which is the two-bedroom living room. Okay, I like this space. I mean, the kitchen. In the meanwhile, tell us where do you look for places to rent and what is the most affordable parish for you to live in? With the buildings of highways, it can be easy to commute from one parish to the other. So you might see people living in some of the, you know, more country areas and commuting to Kingston for work. All right, so this is not bad. It's on the higher end. Two bedroom, living room, dining room, kitchen. And I think we saw the bathroom there. All right. So what else we're gonna look at? I think that's it for now. So these are this is one of the platforms you can use, but be aware that you are able to have a contract. Sometimes it's good to go through a real estate agent because they have vetted everything or should have vetted everything. But do your due diligence. Um, they will let you know that a deposit is normally required, normally one or two months um, plus the first month's rent. And it's also good to take pictures of the place before so that you have evidence of how the house is upon moving up. So, you know, people can be shady when it comes to giving back um your deposit and so forth. And you don't want that. No drama. 
when it comes to renting houses. It doesn't have to be drama for landlords and tenants. It can be a great um tenant landlord situation. So we've seen on both sides where things can go really wrong and have experience with landlords that aren't particularly fair or you know some of the stuff they may need to check out so ensure that you as a renter do your checks as well it's not just the landlord to check out you know they they want the documents and all of them stuff they you pass some question and know when they might come vote or when they might deal with because with everything that's going on guys you don't want all that unnecessary stress all right let's look at one more which is the one bedroom one bath and keep water included. All right, while we're looking at this, let's talk about the bills. The cheapest bill you probably have is the water bill. Light bill can be pretty unpredictable. I mean, we can look at a light bill one day and see how they do the rates and so forth. Um, And also internet bill is standard. It depends on the package that you choose. You don't need cable. If you're someone who's really under budget, you don't need cable. You have internet. You can watch whatever on the internet. Um, so you have to think about ways of managing. And you have to put a, try to put some money away for saving. So some of them spending that's not totally essential, you don't need to do. Now, Jamaica is seeming to develop this credit system. And you know, one of the things that they ask for a lot in Jamaica is um a bill showing your name or you know when you need some official documents. So it's good to get a bill in your name. A water bill or a light bill should suffice to build credit since I've seen that some institutions are doing credit checks and can't have credit if you don't have anything to, you know, you have to have some kind of bill that you're paying that shows that you paid on time and you're this kind of person when it comes to bills. But you can also automate some of the bills. If you're someone who's forgetful, you can have your bank or, you know, have a reminder on your phone so you can pay your bills before. And here's the thing. If you pay your bills late, you have to pay $250 late fee. Times that by 12, that's what? $3,000? So that's $3,000 you're paying a year if you're always paying your bills late. So that's a $3,000 that can go in a food. It might seem like look a bit, but it adds up. And if you're doing all the bills late, that's like, what, $9,000? All right, so let's look at this. I like the floor. The thing about grill grill pan, I do understand that's a necessity, but why sometimes you just want some a mesh from the mosquito and you want to be able to open up your window and not have grill. Some people actually have anxieties when they see grills because they're just not used to it. All right, guys, I think that's it. Um, You can go to the real estate sites. Let's see which ones comes up. You can also go on Facebook, but as I said, do your due diligence. You want to ensure it's legit renting opportunities that you're getting. Um, Property Cozy. Uh, this is a real estate site, so you could look at them. Yeah. Let's look at this Instagram. If they're still active. Okay, they seem still active. Okay, I need to sign in for that, but you can see. Seems like an active place. Ah, <laughs> look at these prices. $1,800 US for, but it looks nice. I mean, if you can pay that price, might as well try looking to get in a property yourself. One twenty thousand cent and eighty five thousand. So you can get something decent, eighty five thousand. That's our gated um community, full bed manor. That's two bedroom, one bath, and there's 
70,000 on Orange Avenue. There's a one bedroom, one bath. All right, guys, I think we're going to close it here. Let us know in the comments what you think, if this is helpful, if you want us to do more like these. We're going to speak about next, you know, finding a job in Jamaica and how to do a resume and so forth. We want to share the knowledge that we wish we would have gotten when we were younger. We did get some, but we realized that some of the younger people don't have this guidance. Um, Give thanks for some of the teachers who taught us to actually write resumes and how to dress for interviews and but I don't remember anybody but family members giving tips on, on housing. But even when they did, it wasn't as, it wasn't much. But let us know in the comments what you think of this. And we will continue to do more. All right. So you have a great day. Have a blessed one. And we have more general content. We're working on a lot as it relates to content. It takes time to write the scripts, to do the videos and so forth so we're trying to do the best videos possible and we can't wait to share some of the exciting content that we have coming your way now how do i stop recording this?